Farmer Dev. Uh, I was fucking around with OBS, right? And like I have a, I had like a screen up here with me in it, screen over here with like my screen share and then my logo and all this other shit, right? And uh, and I and I didn't on the right side of OBS. There's like five little boxes. So you, you start recording, start live. Yeah, um, I use it. That's yeah, crazy. okay. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So didn't I, I tell you about it or not? Uh, I, I had it before, like way before oh, okay. I was even doing any of this but i hadn't used it a lot and you definitely helped yeah. me with it yeah. but um but no i i thought i hit record right because i just wanted to see like what does it sound like what's it look like how's the screen look etc i had total fucking bedhead like my hair was like fucking cockeyed <laughs> fucking fluffy on one side and shit and like i had no lighting on at all and uh it was before the wild willy show and so we were doing some joking around like with his picture and there's this one picture he's got, he's got his tongue out and like I screen shared the, the picture and I'm on the fucking live, like blah, 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 like just fucking making weird noises and like sticking my tongue out and uh, straight up. This is fucking hilarious. So, so I, I did that. Right. And then I look over and I see the little live thing. So I click stop. I went to YouTube and it's got fucking 24 views already and a comment. The dude's like that moment when you just realize you hit the live button and not record. <laughs> Dude, that's epic. <laughs> you, you gotta be careful, man. I've I done know. it before a few times. I've, I've thought I was off Facebook Live and was still on and I was doing <laughs> Yeah, I had to unlist that shit real quick. I was oh, like, yeah, oh, for sure. private or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, know, all right. So we got, we got three, three, three watchers in the house. So, uh, Probably us, but that's good. Cool. <laughs> oh, four. There you go. I, I know. I know of one more guy who's out there. Big ups to Brian. So one of them is me. Smash, I think Skadoosh. I think Skadoosh is awesome. Like, smash that like button, three people. Come on. Fuck. We're not opening uh, it until we get three likes. So, I honestly uh, don't feel saying. I don't feel comfortable using plural Skadoosh because it's like Skadooshes. So I'm not, I'm not too comfortable with that. Oh. I'm just gonna call you Panda. I like calling you Panda. What's what, Panda? What, hold on, hold on. What's tomorrow's show on FPV Live? Mm. Who's who's on there? I don't I know. I can't um, remember. First. Oh yeah, that's right. It's the race flight show. Yeah, race flight. Right, kind of a big deal. But it's just Preston, right? Yeah. Okay, so we could. We, yeah, you can't. I'll be skipping that. You can't use the the plural then. <laughs> Sorry, this is my channel. I can say whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hey, we're in your realm now. I pretty much say whatever I want anyway, but I don't know. That's going to be interesting. I'm I, I, trying to figure out how to handle the whole race flight thing, so we'll see. It's going to be very interesting, I'll tell you that. I don't know. I, I got a feeling I'm, I'll probably get muted. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real. It's gonna be. We're up to four watchers. It's four, gonna be six. Gonna it's gonna be a very. I can I can tell you what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be a very opinionated discussion. That's pretty much how it's gonna go, and it's gonna get heated, but it's gonna be awesome. I don't know. It, be, it don't needs know. to be presented. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm hoping. Here's what I'm gonna say. This is my like personal, and I'm dead fucking serious about this. Like I really hope what I'm about to say happens. I'm not going to name names, but I will tell you guys this. There have been times in the past on FPV Life where like, I went into the show with a predisposition, right? Because I'm, I'm judgmental as hell, right? Like I, I, no. I will take my, yes, I fully admit it. I'm <laughs> judgmental. I'm going to judge you. Like if you, I'm not going to, I'm like harsh or anything. I mean, internally I am, but I, I normally don't put it out there, right? But if I'm asked about it, I'm going to say it, but but what I'm trying to say is like I make up everybody everybody makes opinions of a person. You meet somebody and within, you know, a couple minutes you form some sort of an opinion, right? And uh obviously you don't say it a lot, but that's that's just real life. That's just being real about shit. So um there have been guests on the past on FPB Life that that I thought going into it they were they were douchebags or they were, you know, maybe not douchebags, strong word, but I didn't like the person's personality and they have totally won me over. And now I'm like riding their nuts, fanboy, hype train, fucking the whole nine yards. So I hope to God that is what happens because I really, I really want, like he sent me a revolt. I've got it around here somewhere. Um, it's in a bag of like, here it is. Hold on. 
it's my my bag of components which Ooh. is actually pretty fucking like for just for like boards and shit there's a lot of shit in there you know what i mean it's a goodie bag yeah so and i i actually i thought the show was today right that's part of why i'm doing the unboxing because i i prepped all day i went out and bought a second screen like i've now got two monitors and uh i just did a bunch of work and um yeah right ball in used ass fucking monitor from the habitat store what's up so uh <laughs> <laughs> anyway he sent me the revolt there you go that's what it comes and he even personalized it i don't know if some if some of our how many watchers we got now we got what we got four watchers six six what's up people uh Thanks, you guys can man. anybody that's got a revolt can tell me is this is this special like did i just is this should i save this <laughs> it's like, or is this how they all come? You know, I thought that was pretty nice, really. Um, hey, nobody tell them if it is not special. Just let them feel it. Let yeah, them just let me feel it. I've had let a rough couple of days. People getting on my <laughs> shit on the internet. So, anyway, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll give them a chance. I'll tell you what's fucked up, though. If you're watching, Preston, you packed your, your race flight strap, which is really thin, and I actually like the size of it. But he packed it. You know how they come like uh, they come like this, right? Like where they're they're long and just the little bits folded over or whatever. So if you look at the, this, you can see exactly where this is going. I bet if you think about it. And so if you you were to happen to open this with scissors, oh yeah, you might accidentally cut the top of your <laughs> race flight strap off. So that sucked. So fo so take take your strap apart and fold it in half, and then put it in the package. See, so then it's like this high, and I'm not going to cut. That. Yes, proper strap on. I mean, <laughs> it's just, you know, I'm not hating anyway. It's whatever. He threw a strap in there. I didn't I didn't pay for any of it, so it's cool. But uh, you know, just saying. That's for any vendor out there. That's it's even like for me because I mean. I'm sure I'll have some random FPV straps in the in the future. Show us that dog. Sounds cute. She's down here being a brat. Oh my gosh. She was sleeping all morning until we started this. I bet you can make that dog fly. <laughs> like the dude with the cat? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to stuff it. We'll just keep it alive and, and put some arms on it and rip it. That cat, that, that that cat thing, man, like fucked with me because I'm an animal person, right? So I like didn't know really uh, how to react to that shit, to be honest. So we've got nine likes. Um, Woo! So big ups to to Rickster ATA uh, Dynamic. We've got little J FPV in the house, and then uh, just us. Just us hey, by the way, have you seen any of Lil J's videos? They're actually pretty sweet. And the Bean. What's up, Bean? How's it going, bro? So, uh, Dynamics give me a hard time. He's, he's like, smack my head random. I don't know why. Probably because I cut that fucking strap in half. But I felt, <laughs> I felt the package and everything, man. Like, I fondled the package well, right? Like, I'm, I love to fondle a good package. Look, I'm a professional package. Put the strap on. I have a lot of experience fondling packages. Prove it. <laughs> For strap on. <laughs> I've got two packages I'm going to fondle right now. Look, I'm fondling. Oh, fondling. Oh, oh, oh. Dirty FPV boy. All that FPV prawn. I love that term, by the way, prawn. I think it's much better than the, the real word. So this is our, uh, we're going to start it off with this. This is a Banggood package. I paid for it. So I know you guys all hate me because I'm su supporting Banggood, right? But, uh. I'm about it. Whatever. Whatever. You know, look, I had to, I had to, I had a bunch of fucking points from previous Thanks. stuff. People are going like, to fly any way they want. If you want to fly, you fly whatever way you want. I don't buy all my things from Banggood, but when I oh, do. Yeah. Totally. I buy Racer Star shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if you can get that shit anywhere else. Can you? I'm not sure. Might be a being good exclusive. I'm pretty sure. 
I, I've not seen it anywhere else. So here's what this is. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I just ripped it open. It's the uh, the new. They're like 28 amp um, ESCs, which is a weird number, right? Like 28 amp. But they actually spelled FPV racing right this time. The last one I got said FVP. Oh. I, I kind of felt special. I was like, I'm the FVP. <laughs> First valuable prick. Hell yeah. So let's open this bitch. I got this because I've got all these fucking frames and stuff coming, and I don't have, you know, the back end. So... I wanted to use my, my points up. Got to have that stockpile for builds, man. All right, so in the package, we have a fuck ton of wires, which is actually pretty cool. It's like a bunch of the standard ESC wires in a pag. Yeah, but they're pre-soldered. That's the only thing that stinks. They're silicononious, though. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. And I'll rip all. I'll cut all that shit down anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm done with silicone wire. Right, I got the twisted pars. They're pretty fucking long, but it looks like there might only be three of them. They're like, oh, we give you enough. You can just cut one. Did I lose <laughs> one? No, I lost one. There's four. Okay. And then the ESC. So that's pretty fucking small. I don't know. If oh, yeah. You can see that. Look, Skadoosh just completely went silent. He's like, bang good. Ugh. Well, it's, I can't uh, even get bang good. So. <laughs> I got them because they, they looked... They just look good. I don't know. I could be wrong. But there there you go. If the camera will get that, but Oh yeah. It's one side. That little guy right there. That some bitch right there at twenty eight amp. Woo. So I, I didn't I didn't I mention even, I, I, can't even buy I made it in the shrike today, by the way. Are they D shot or no? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I think oh, yeah, they're D shot. Six. Dude, they're D shot as fuck. I think they're they're legit D shot. Let's see. It'll tell me. Yeah, they'll go up to six hundred. Nice. I think I think they come with come at six hundred or whatever. I don't know. There's a lot less paperwork, which is actually Nobody. good. Nobody fucking reads that gigantic BL Heli insert, right? Like come on. You might have read it once, but Hell. You're killing trees, fuckers. You're fucking killing trees. Wait, you mean you don't read those? I read it yeah. one time, but I mean, you know, you get like gigantic in every package. So, okay. you wonder why your ESCs are going on fire, Chris? Come I've on, never man. had, I've <laughs> never had an ESC fire, my good friend. Don't flash the wrong hey. firmware, and you'll be fine. Because I've had that happen. I flashed the wrong firmware, and I, yeah, four I did. Motors, four ESCs went bye bye pretty fast. I did calibrate the. You don't have to calibrate them. Kiss ESCs like an idiot. They were fucking smooth. That's the Shrike build, right? The one mindless sent. They were so fucking smooth right out of the box. I hooked everything up, and that thing sounded so smooth. I was fucking, like, my, my pants moved a little bit. And uh, and then, like an idiot, I'm like, well, I'll calibrate the ESCs. And then they started making this crazy rattle noise, and I thought, like, I totally fucked them up. But uh, it fixed itself after I put the battery in a couple times, so... They're good, and that thing's a beast. Like I, I maidened it today. I crashed the fuck out of it a couple times. It, it's fine. I did break a, my my maiden flight GoPro footage. The memory card literally broke in half. It ejected from the fucking GoPro and broke in half. But wait, that was with a crash, or was that? Yeah, just like yeah. Land? It was actually just like a landing, but the the quad flipped, and I had rigged up. Um, I had it totally was like rigged a landing, up but not a landing. Yes, it was a noob landing because, as you all know, I'm obviously not super so, experienced. So what so. you're saying is everything worked fine all the way up to the scene of the crash. Well, it worked fine after the crash, too. I just didn't have my maiden memory card on <laughs> GoPro. But I have it on DVR. So. Well, I got you a few goodies in that care package. I just need you to help out with that. Oh, look at this guy. Speaking of, I didn't introduce you guys. So, <laughs> uh, Skadoosh. Everybody, for you're for you're like an episode of Cheers, dude. Everybody knows your name, but go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and give a fucking shout out. Our Matt's just singing. Yo, yo, yo. 
I'm Dave, pilot handle skadoosh. I think most of you guys probably already know. There's only like six watchers, so. Don't you know who I am? Oh, we're up to. I hope nobody cares who I am. <laughs> <laughs> the the chat is actually pretty uh pretty intense for six people. There's eight, <laughs> there's eight now. Right? There's oh. eight now. By the way. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, oh. And Matt, Matt, tell them who you are. Tell them what. Tell them what's up. My name is Matthew, Detroit FPV. Some of you in here know me. I've been around. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I fly. I love FPV, and I like the I like the background of it all. I like the building and the and the video chats. I'm not really a, the best flyer in the world, but you know, hey man, I get out there, I fly, and I do my shit. So, Rickster, that's, that's my what's up. That's, that's what, what it's about. about. Yeah. So okay, so we got a couple chat topics already, and I'm I, I need to say, Rickster, yes, I did pay for this shit. Uh, Norm, Rickster knows I get stuff from Banggood for them to do reviews and stuff. But, um, <laughs> ATA. What's the... But here's the thing. Here's the irony, Rickster. I bought the shit, right? And the next fucking day, I get an email alert. Guess what? I'm getting the exact same fucking ESCs I bought the day before for free for reviews. So whatever. I'll have some backups, I guess. Um, and uh, and this is the other thing that was in that package. It's a uh, run, run cam, Swift Whip. Mini. Dude, they're so good. I have those on like three of my builds, and they're amazing. I love them. And, yeah, I got one for review already, and, and it's what's in the Shrike. And I I like it, so I got the black one. Yeah. Attaboy. Uh, and I want to – it's going to go in the uh, core, which is the one back here with the purple. Um, Not to that, mention real quick that run cam support is off the chain. I don't know if you guys dealt with them before, but they are just – they're on top of things. Yes. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And another uh, chat comment is, did you guys get the email? And I did get the email about the FAA. Did anybody else? I got an alert on my phone, actually, like one of those yeah. card card deals. And yeah. I'm like, fuck, I wasted $5. Like, that's fucking five bucks I could have spent somewhere on props or something. Fucking assholes. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a I'm a certified pilot, so I don't. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You're you're part 107 beast mode, so you don't care. Beast, beast. All right. So, see, any you guys got any other questions in the chat before we get to this exclusive Korean box over here? Ooh. Oh. Exclusive Korean box. Read it in Korean. I, dare you. Uh, I would probably insult the people who are one of the <laughs> like, on, 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 on. <laughs> They actually specifically told me they would be watching. I don't know if they're going to watch live, but they're probably going to watch the recording. So, And speaking of, it's, it's Drogen. I know none of you guys have probably heard of them um, because I hadn't when I stumbled upon their Facebook page. But... They've got a pretty cool looking. Wasn't that the name of the blonde girl's husband in uh, Game of Thrones? I do believe that is true. Um, this is what they sent me, so I already know what it looks like. Nice. And uh, it's called the. It's actually got like four names, as most of these homespun drones seem to have. So this uh, Drogen is the company, obviously. And the Puzzle X 230XG Goblin is the drone. And um, it also says Lobit all over the place. So I think they're, they've got, got a few different names and stuff. And I know they're doing a few different things. The Lobit name was like a tricopter at one point. Um, and they've got some bigger drones. It, it appears that they do kind of a lot of different stuff with more your side, Matt. More of the like commercial. Um, yeah stuff and that they're just now trying to get into the racing scene so we'll see i i don't know that i see this particular drone as uh racing oriented because i mean it, it looks like it's probably going to be kind of heavy but um it's an interesting frame it's kind of like a hybrid of an x and a dead cat or an h like the front straight right and then you've got the back legs are like way stretched it's it's pretty neat so I've been. Uh, I've I had. I like it. the old uh, strike. Yeah, yeah, and I. 
I've had it for a few days and I've wanted to open it. And I haven't. So here we go. So um, do it. Rickster wants to know real quick if it's uh, RTF or not Rickster. Is it Rickster? Uh, okay. GTA one of them. That's a good question. So it's not RTF. This is a kit. It's they call it a frame kit, but mine. Um, he said he emailed me and said it has ESCs and motors. I don't know if their their kit is going to come normally with that or if it's like options, you know. Um, but they are making an RTF, and he's supposed to send me that like, and it's fully like VTX camera receiver, the whole nine yards. I think it even has a transmitter. Um, oh my stickers! So that. Would, wow. This and don't quote me, Drojan. I'm sorry if I'm off here, but I want to say like what I have here is in the 200 range. Um, so it's not cheap, but let's hope it looks quality and then it really doesn't matter because if it's quality, that is not bad. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I, I actually think that's a good price because it's you like 200 bucks for a frame motors ESC and it looks like that. Like, I think that's that's pretty much right, you know? Like, it's not cheap, and it's not expensive. It's right there kind of where it should be, in my opinion. So, um, sticker sheet. Yes. It's got, like, all kinds of stickers. I thought these were really cool. They got, like, Band-Aids. I am all about stickers. Nice. It's kind of like a throwback to the Japanese car stuff, right? Like, lowrider guys, they'll put, like, a Band-Aid over their dents in their car and shit. So, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> And there's like all kinds, like warning. Um, there's little characters. There's gunshot stickers. Uh, Do not fly close to human or animal. That's one of the stickers. Um, it's got like a kind of a graffiti thing up here that I guess is supposed to go on the like the side of it. Uh, and then just a whole bunch a of stuff. Soft target sticker. Wow. Right. Right. And then a lot of this space in here that you can't see. It's actually still stickers. It's just they're in white. So there's stickers there. It says, I got this. Um, what else? Puzzle. There's some like target looking, you know, the circle with the crosshair type things. Oh, and this is this is my absolute favorite sticker on the whole thing. It's a Band-Aid that's like a cross. See that? It's like two Band-Aids stuck over each other. So that's for like you really fucking hit something hard. Yeah. Spot like D Lamb or something, I guess. Calibrating so, ESCs with your props on. Rickster says he's getting a tattoo. Oh, he's getting a random FPV tattoo. Yeah. I will pay for that, Rickster. If you're gonna, if, I'll, I'll, what? You come to Tennessee. We will get drunk as hell, and we will both go out, and I'll get a Rickster tattoo, and you get a random FPV tattoo, and we'll be <laughs> drone buddies forever. No yeah. homo. No yeah. homo. Yeah. All right, so there's that. There's the stickers. <laughs> Skadoosh. <laughs> Your fucking butt cheek. Fucking butt cheek. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm not gonna get into the box, but I will say this. This is I think this is nice packaging, right? Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of English. But, you know, the guys have told me, uh, John Shin is the guy at Drogen who I've been talking to, and he's telling me, like, they're in the process of kind of, this is like their initial release product for Korea. Um, that's where they're at. And they're in the process of making, like, a full English, you know, version, I guess you could say. So, anyway, that's the box with the frame and stuff, I'm guessing. Uh, but there's other stuff in here, so let's see what that is. So, I'll try to hold this up. You know, as know me, I have to stay in the shot, too, because I'm conceited, and I'm a fucking asshole, so I'm going to stay right here with you fuckers. And <laughs> so, okay, props. That's not a bad name on the props, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let's see what version they are. They ain't skimp. Can, can you read that? Will it focus? Yeah, what version are they? Talk, 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 focus camera. Can you see it? It's pretty out of focus. Okay, so it says HQ Durable Prop 5x4x3 V1S. That's the new shit, right? The All V1S, right. that's the relatively new, right? I mean, they're not. Relatively. Super, yeah, relatively. They're good. I mean, they're, dude, they're great props. I mean, they're great. They didn't skimp out on the props, that's for sure. Yeah, so okay, cool. HQ Props, hey, they're clear, so you can see if there's relatively. fucked up bubbles. 
It's a loose term, Skadoosh, okay? <laughs> That's the newest one. Pays to live in the same country as Noah. So, okay, so explain about the blue prop, because I like the prop. So go for it. These are the newest ones that um, he broke out when uh, Steele and Chad were here. These are the V1 3.3, whatever. These are the newest deal that's out there. Five they, by 4.3 by threes. Are they out there? And they're, so you, can you buy they're them? not the potato chip props anymore. So they're just uh, – I think he's starting to sell them now. Okay. But they're um, – they're they're not the uh, the fiberglass mix anymore. Wait they're second. durable. Are those four, uh, five four and a half threes? You said four. Actually, 4. they 3? are four point three. Mm -hmm. So they have the little they have a little scoop in them, yeah. as you can see there, but not like the four five scoop. So um, they fly a lot like the old school original HQs that everybody liked. But they don't come apart when they look at a twig now. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> Band is analogies, man. I can't. They're just so great. They're on point every oh, single no. time. Skadoosh, Skadoosh has got some information, my man. He's like a card catalog of veritably useless knowledge, I except know. for people like us find it useful. Exactly. So I'm the same way, bro. Exactly. I just not not so much with drone stuff. I'm learning, guys. Cut me. Some fucking slack, people on FPV Live. Don't cut them any. It'll make them better. All right, so on to the ESCs. Um, and I've never seen one. these before. It's Carry on. Hobby Wing uh, X Rotor 30 Amp Micro. So I don't know if you guys are familiar They're with beasts. it. Oh, yeah. So there you go. Hobby Here. Wing X Rotors are B. All right, so decent props, decent ESCs. All right, so we're not doing bad. What amp are they? What did, you, did you say what amp? I didn't mean thirty. Thirty, right. but but they're tiny. Like yeah. they're they're fucking small. I, I actually let's compare them to the other ones I just bought because those are pretty small too. Um. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. We are. Look how unfucking prepared I am. I'm not going anywhere. You better not. I'm about to go fly. So you better carry on. You better hurry it up there, son. Like you can get your ass out the door. Don't let it hit you. It's got dang ten o'clock in the morning here, boy. Oh, you got time. <laughs> what is it Saturday over there, right? Yes, it is. Oh, he's in the future. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, it's we fucked. A beautiful day. All of our Tell friends are future. Medium buddies. small. Tell us the future. All right, so here you go. This is the one I just bought, and this yeah. is the so they're. It's a little smaller, but it's really similar. Like, I like that thirty amp buffer though. Nice, pretty similar. So, yep, yep. That's cool. I like. I've been digging on the fly, fly color Raptors lately. They're like the size of my thumbnail. They're teeny, thirty amp with forty amp burst. Yeah, that's sick. All right, so HQ props, Hobby Wing, X Rotor, ESCs. We're doing good. We're nice. doing good. We're doing good. Let's see what else we got in the bag. So much suspense. Take it out. Ah, I can't <laughs> take the suspense. You love the prawn. Just dump it out. This is the motor box. So not 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 really impressive, but I don't really care about the box to be honest. It's, you know who cares? So it's uh, L6, 2700 KV. Um, it says it's 29 grams, excluding cables, 3 to 4 S, yada, yada, yada. And I want to say, let's see what they look like. I want to say 2700 KV? 2700, yes. Oh, my. And I guess, I'm, I'm guessing they're 2206 motor. Battery killer. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, hey, well, I mean, whatever. Uh, here's, nice. the, here's the base, 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 base. Here's the top. Look at the windings, if it will focus. So I'll just give you my opinion. The windings aren't aren't bad at all. Um, Curve magnets. Yeah. Bell housing tight. Throw it at yeah. the wall. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they, they've got the screw, the screw in the bottom. So no C clip. Nice. Oh, that's always wow. good. So I'm not like a motor snob. I can't tell you which who made them or whatever. I can check with my contact and see, but they they look and feel good. Um, let's see if the website. That's an interesting combination. I wonder how heavy that frame is. So it's a heavier think, frame with 2,700 kV motors and those HQ props. You might have a little trouble tuning that bad boy. That's yeah. why I said battery. Well, see. But we will have Spot to. Spot on, Matt. What's that? Yeah, I mean. See if any of the specs are on the site. Like if I'm flying 2,700s, that frame has to be like. Built out like sub three hundred, you know. Yeah, right. that's, that's what I was thinking right when uh, right when that happened. But I mean, yeah. you know, that's awesome. Hey, if you want to just red balls for two minutes, hell yeah, I'm all about it. That's that's why they're sending it, so I'm sure they'll hell appreciate yeah. the feedback. Throw you some know, fifties on there. Yeah. Smoke it for a minute and a half. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not <laughs> seeing. Uh, I'm not seeing any specs because I can't read Korean, so. John's supposed to get me English translations of all this stuff, and when he does, we will fill the viewers, all six or whatever, of them in. And uh, no, we're, we're holding eight. We're holding no, eight we, hard. We need to get some. We need to get some translators on standby because even with some of the Aussie guys, sometimes it's like, wow, was that? What'd you say? <laughs> I just go along with it. I, yeah. I just, I just, yeah, man, that's right. Yeah, cheers, cheers, mate. <laughs> I love them. All right, so here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do the the good box, the box that I mean, not that nobody else wants doesn't want to see the other stuff, but this is this is where it's at because this tells you the quality of everything, really. Um. All right, so little box, little like almost like a card, you know, when you collect cards when you're a kid, right? It's almost like that. I know I'm killing Skadoo. She's just like, "Fuck you! Open the fucking box, you fucking asshole." He's on a second pack right now. Like, oh, oh, oh. oh it's like the box my business cards came in. Oh, the suspense is oh, killing me. Okay. It's open. <laughs> it's open. It's open. So, okay, three D printed piece. Okay. It's got. Uh, it's, it's definitely some form of harder plastic. ABS. It's got little, little like places for your antennas there. Okay. It's got the logo Puzzle X. On it, uh, some snappy doos for your standoffs. <laughs> Whisker <Snappy> biscuits. <laughs> That's the technical term, snappadoo. Snappadoo. Pretty good camera. I mean, you could go from like zero to eighty-five. It looks like <laughs> fly that bitch fucking upside down. You'll still see straight. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, so what else we got? Bag of goodies. Yes. So we have an intact strap here. I did not cut this strap. In. Unmolested and cut. Yeah, yeah. Un uncut, live and uncut strap. Ooh. Um, it's Rubberized? Got, it's got that like quadruple stitching shit. It's not even stitched. It's like stamp. whatever. Yeah, stamp. Yeah, you know, not bad. Um, no rubber? Battery wires, a little foamy pad, and some heat shrink and two circles of TPU, it feels like. We'll we'll have to figure out what those are for. That could be interesting. For your clippy thingies. Yeah, for the snatchadoos. <laughs> ah, this is cool. They knew I liked oh, coffee. They included oh, there you go. Stir sticks. Stir sticks for my coffee. No, I'm guessing that's for the um, oh. antennas. For the little, yeah, the little, the little doodle wads there. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the little doodle wads. for the canoe pal. Yep, that's right. If you look right here, this is where you insert the muffler oil, and <laughs> and this side is where you Blinker put the, fluid. the headlight bearing. The headlight <laughs> bearing. <laughs> that's it. I have zero bearing. <laughs> right next to the muffler belt. That's right. <laughs> Oh, I'm losing my shit. This. Oh, my God, guys. Hold on. Hold on. You ready? 
You fucking ready? Um, yeah. It's a bag of, bag of fucking screws. Yes. Bag of fucking screws. Boom! Pow. There long. they are. There's Those some long. There's, are they titanium? Hey, let me tell you what, brother. There's some long ones. There's some short ones. <laughs> Halfway ones, it looks like there might even be a nut in there. If there ain't one in there, there's one right here. <laughs> Man, I love them nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. I will tell you this. I'm seeing some shit in here that I think is pretty cool of a, a manufacturer to include. This is... I'm just going to flash that. That's electronics. We'll get to that later. Oh, come but, uh, on. What a dick yeah. piece. It's another thing I'll flash. You can see in there there's something something different I've not ever seen. Dude, you're like a you're like a bad prom date, dude. I'll live in a hole. Oh no. Out. You'll get the hole. You'll get the <laughs> ho and then you'll be sorry you ever fucked with it later. <laughs> Alright, so this looks like a little three D printed puzzle logo. Now I actually saw this earlier. Um I wondered what it was. I was looking at the box. See right here? This piece, for the record, this section is aluminum. So, see here? Yeah. They gave me the FPV Life Blue. Cause, nice. You know, that's how we roll. And if you see, the top one has a cutout. So, that fits in dar like diet. I'm really eager to see what the all-up weight on this thing is. Because <laughs> it's starting it's, to add up. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be decent, to say the least. A little tanky beast. But it's kind of one of those things where it's like, do you have all the... Like, this thing's almost like a Lexus, right? Like, it's heavy as fuck, but it's got a, it's got a V8. Oh, dude, my, and it's like my that kind is, of shit. My thing is, dude, you never know until you rip it. I mean, that that's my... like. I stick that's to that. That's true, too, man. I might you never know until you're just fucking, ripping through there. Yeah, it might be gold, you know? Yeah. Who knows? They, they, it seems like they've put some time and effort into it, so that's cool. Um... So there's those two parts, and it's got TPU landing pads, okay. or not not TPU, uh, the same ABS. shit. Yeah, the same. Yeah, probably the same stuff that other parts made out of. You yeah, know, yeah. you're the you're the decent. You're the plastic guy. That's why you're on the team. <laughs> I like plastic <laughs> and plastic accessories. <laughs> so here, this is cool. Check this out: XT60 with a hole in it. You know, oh, it goes nice. It goes, a standoff goes through there, and it like sits. Do you, you get it? You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sits pretty really while you plug that. in. Yeah, I'm really digging that right now. Yeah, me too. That in itself is like, fuck yeah. Where can I get more of these? Yeah, I was just about to look right now. That's very cool. So they say T as long as it mounts out of the prop line. TGY. Yeah. TGY XT60 on them. It's way away from the prop line. All right, I'll I'll screen share again so anybody can, if they wonder like what I'm talking about. I literally uh, ripped off one of my you see that leads the other day. You right oh. there. Oh yeah. So it's way. Wow. Up the props are way over here, and <laughs> <laughs> shut up, assholes. And there is a small. Okay, hold on. I'm still screen sharing. Hold on, hold on. All right, there is a small standoff right there. That that that's made for this. It was made for loving you. Oh, Dude, that is honestly, I'm gonna, I'm not even joking. That's a sweet design. I mean, that's I what I'm saying. It's like other yeah, than, other than the other, you know, normal XT60 90s and all that stuff. That is pretty legit. All right, so here are the front arms. The front arm is one piece. Uh-oh. So, yeah. So, whatever. You know, hey, it is what oh, yeah. it is. But check out that motor mounting deal there. It's got a lot of configuration. Options. I like options. And it's, I mean, it's pretty, I'm putting some pretty good oomph on it there. It's not really moving, so. God, if you snapped that on live, that would be just great. Just pow. All right, guys. Looks like it went great. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to not fly this one. <laughs> oh, here we go. Some pepper work that I can't read. So this is like everything in the box. Which honestly, that's that's one of those things where you never get it. Like it, with a lot of them, it's just a frame. You know, you just get a frame. So like figure it the fuck out. But uh, it tells you everything. And then on this side, it's like an exploded put together deal. 
which is honestly nice. super complicated. Like, I, it would probably be easier if I could read part of it, but and the video, it's in Korean, but it's a guy doing a video on putting one of these together, and I'm going to do a build on it. Uh, probably live. We'll probably do the same kind of thing. We'll just shoot the shit and I'll build it and I'll have a camera just on the build. Um, and I'll probably do a separate build for the company too. They asked me if I would want to do an English build version, so I, I might do that. But uh, this is cool. So I want to show you guys. For the build, so it doesn't take you five hours. To yeah, yeah, exactly, build. exactly. <laughs> Nobody likes a five-hour live I'll, build. I'll build it and I'll. Where the hell does this thing apart. go? <laughs> Can you see that though, Skadoosh? Yeah, da, 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 da. We'll get we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, you said that a minute ago. Well, <laughs> I know, but there's more shit. So the the arms have uh, PIM certs. You guys know what those are? Yeah. There's PIM certs sunk into the arms. See that? I I love those. And the frame, the I guess base plate. I'm going to, maybe the top plate. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the diagram, but it's got them too. See right here. So those are already pre inserted, nice. right? Yeah, yeah, they're pre inserted. And I think there's some extras in the hardware. I'm pretty sure I saw some somewhere. I always get so nervous when I put the, the Helix ones in that I'm going to fuck them up and just, I don't know. It's got a specific plate for the VTX. This, this little one is VTX specifically plate. for the VTX to mount on, and I guess it fits inside of the frame somehow. And I'm not really sure what all the rest of this stuff is, but this is the kind of camera. They consider this a camera protection. See how it's like staggered? So that's like uh, the, the camera, I guess, is going to sit, you know, roughly here. And so wherever you... It's going to be your degrees. Yeah, yeah. And all of it's really thin except for the arms. The arms are thick as shit, but the rest of it's pretty thin. So we might be surprised on the weight, guys, because really the arms appear to be the only really weighty part. Well, from the look of that picture and what you're showing me there, the sides are stand-up. It's not a flat plate design. So yeah. thin and a stand-up stuck in the thicker arms is going to be strong with yeah. the TPU, in, with, the, uh, with the plastic. Yeah, it's like it bridges it all together. Daily. Going there in the yeah. Agreed. So okay. So at this point, we've seen two or three things that are pretty cool, right? Like we're like, oh, that's cool. You know? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I like that. Cool. So here's the next cool thing that I thought, at least when I started scoping it out, because of course they said they said they're going to send it. So I like get online and just go crazy trying to find it, and I couldn't. Um, but I, what I could find. From their own website I did see some stuff and this is one of the things I have not opened it just 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 cut it open but they're like yeah this is cool okay so it's soft mounting right it's a big deal so this is some sort of really squishy rubber like soft mount flight controller thing mm -hmm. and, and if you look on the diagram it, it goes up into the frame right and you see how it's ribbed for her pleasure oh yeah so I'm I'll guessing yeah like the flight controller probably comes comes down the shaft. See right here, it's gonna come down the shaft. And down it's, the shaft of that rib nipple. It's gonna get it's gonna get in just enough to hit the G spot, and it's gonna lock into place. <laughs> it's nice. just, gonna, just gonna stay right there on like that spot. It's just not gonna move. Like it's gonna lock in. It's like bees and honey, baby. Like biscuits and butter. The bean. That's not cool, man. What do you say? Is he, is he offended? No, he's not. He said he's got too much free shit. He'll be out of date by the time it's built. <laughs> hey, I build my free shit. It might take me a weekend or two, but it's it's built. Except for, oh, that, that's chameleon. Awesome. Except for that fucking chameleon, because I, every time I decide I'm going to put a certain motor on it, then I want to put those motors on something else. And I don't know. I don't think it's going to... It's gonna be a bad frame. That's that's why I've put it off because I'm like everybody loves it, so it'll be it'll still be fine in six months. You know, um, man, I can take care of one of those frames for you. I know you're going to. Damn, somebody <laughs> killed on us. We're down to seven watchers. So, and then there's this wire. I'm not really sure, but whatever. That's cool. One wire, and well, I guess you don't need that because of this wire in there. But anyway, and a buzzer. Boom. A buzzer. A buzzer. Good thing to add is a fucking buzzer. Because the Shrike didn't have a buzzer, and I wrecked it today, and I damn near didn't find it. Yep. 
That's so, uh, yeah. So okay, skadoosh. Just wait for the motors to be. Yeah. <laughs> wait for the smoke signal. <laughs> wait for the smoke signal. This is the part I wanted Dude, to show I you. Dude, I do skadoosh. like the ribbon cable setup. I've been playing with the ribbon cable setup, and I like the ribbon cable setup. Yeah, you you've posted up the Maytech stuff, the new Maytech stuff, and I'm wondering if it's not associated, like if it's not the same factory yeah. or the, you know, I don't know the specs on this because again, everything I've found is is very it could minimal. Be in bed together. But it's weird that you see two people releasing things at the same time that are ribbons, so that I would guess there's some right. sort of connection. Um, let's Let's try to figure that out here real quick. Let me get this thing open. Do you have one of your Maytech deals there? I do. Plug so it like in and see target? what the flash target is, because Maytech has its own flash target. Oh, that's a good point. Do I need to have it connected to the ribbon, or do now just plug it in? No, just plug it into the computer and type in version in your CLI. I know how to get the damn version, Skadoosh. I'm not that Oh, bad. okay, man. I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Skadoosh. Don't get all don't get all butter, man. I can't have any too many butter people in my life. I'll slap you with my ribbon cable and cut your strap on. Oh yeah, baby. Now you're talking. All right. You guys will have to bear with me. I gotta find a a fucking USB cable here. A fucking, fucking. I know I've got a fat in USB. That's all right. Hang on a second. I stuck my computer, my field computer in my backpack, and it's over there beeping away, so I must have left it on. Uh-oh. That's what uh -oh. you get for giving me a hard time. All right, so I plugged it in, and it, it made the ba-dong, and now it's flashing, so that's relatively <laughs> decent. It's not on fire. So, hmm. Beta flight, where are you? Okay, here we go. Beta flights showing comments. It connect. It's connected. Well, only the beta. It's connected, so that's good. And version. Beta flight. Hikai R1 3.1.6. So it's its own target. Alrighty. It's that then that's what this is called, guys. It's the the Drogen Pikai, spelled P-I-K-A-I-A. -A. Um, <laughs> and Matt, you should check that out because I know they make a version, a different version of this flight controller that's for like the commercial side. Yeah. Um, that's got all the GPS and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, you that's told me. You were saying that else. earlier. Uh, so, if it has its own flash target. That means they've been working on this bad boy for a while. That means they've right. done some background in it and just didn't throw some junk up in there. I was hoping we could get like you two. Okay, I'm going to take my ribbon cable board, right? The uh, flight controller board. I'm going to put my ribbon cable section to my personal left. If I'm, it's on the, it's it's away from me, obviously. But if you guys can look, this is my left hand. There's a ribbon cable section here. So if you can do that and hold yours up to your your camera i was thinking maybe okay. we could get a little like back and forth thing going where like see these two caps right. right like these two caps i mean that's going to give it away it's like where the ribbon cable is there's two caps the gyro <laughs> so let's see oh speaking of i don't know why that made me think of this but we need to give a shout out to mindless mindless fpv has more than likely a father now um, oh really mindless I messaged him and I told him I was uh, maidening the Shrike and I talked to him for a while and like uh, I remembered he was going to have a baby and like a little while later I'm like how's, how's the baby coming you know he's like it's literally an hour away whoa I'm thinking, got little, like this guy Mindless has got a little sex trophy huh sweet well, the, but this guy is so fucking nice that he's taking his time to answer my questions about the Shrike an hour before his damn baby's going to be born like that's fucking gangster that's what Oh. Anyway, I'm sure it's had it by now because that was hours ago. So I'll tell you Wait one thing: the the, uh, the pads on this PDB. This is the PDB, but can you see these fucking pads? Like these are official, dude. Man, that's fucking padage. The bigger, the better. And you hook up. See all the oh, fucking camera focus. 
put all that so solder what's your version in. again? I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Come in, Skadoosh. Over. Oh, whoa, lost internet there for a sec. Oh, God. Yeah, see, this Maytech board is its own, has its own deal. Maytech F405 target. See, I don't know if what F this is, if it's F12 or F38. It's probably F38. That's my official recommendation. It's F38. I concur. I'll buy it. I don't see a current sensor, but I'm not looking at the PDB. Hmm. Hmm. Your ribbon hmm. cable will go in on the side where the clippy is. Yeah, yeah, right Slides here, right here. Into the clippy side. So hold, hold the flight controller part yeah. up. All right. So they're different. You you got your ribbon controller towards the ceiling, right? Or your ribbon yep, it cable. Yep, goes in that way. All oh. right. So yeah, they're different. They're similar though. That they got the chip right here. That you have another chip here. Talk again, Skadoosh. Talk again. Chip, chip. Hmm. Yeah, my does backside's totally. OSD? I it does have OSD because the PDB says it. Um, well, maybe it maybe an MW OSD because this is a Beta Flight OSD chip up here yonder. That's what this big thing is. Up yonder oh, yeah. here. This, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's written on that chip? If yours Mine's is on max, the PD, max seven four five six. Hmm, that's like the STD ones. Like is in the um the Maytech hubs. So, I mean, okay. well, you know, MWOSDs are hit and miss. I've had so many of them brown out on me and crap out and do stupid crazy shit. I won't even trust them anymore. I've had good luck with them, but I think it's kind of it seems like people that don't don't and people that do do kind of product. It's weird how shit like that happens, but it definitely happens. I'll say this: this board is very clearly labeled, like very. It's really obvious where to put everything. The pads are big; they look good. Did Maytech? I, 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 I love Maytech, man. Well, I don't think this is Maytech. I don't know. It could be. I don't know. Show me the back of it again. I think it's I their own. So. It's their own shit, man. Like it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. I was thinking about their own. Shit. But it's all good. It's, it's their own good. shit, man. It's built well. The components are soldered well. I mean, yeah, the gyro is square in the center, so yeah, that means a lot. Fardy has, has its own flash target and beta flight. They put some work into that, man. They just didn't throw some stuff out there. They, that's got some background in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tell somebody's looked at that and seen it and hooked it up. They're not going to put a beta flight flash target for it. You know? So, so what we're everybody knows what we're making a big deal about, or at least somewhat of a deal about. There's a PDB and there's a flight controller. Okay, and I'm dropping the PDB. And it's done. And it's gone yeah. forever. No, it's good. That's why I put all this shit down, and because uh, <laughs> you know I'm clumsy. And there's a little teeny tiny ribbon cable. So, you basically like you put in your PDB, you wire all your shit to your PDB. And then to wire that to the flight controller, which is stacked above the PDB, you have a little tiny ribbon wire that goes between the two of them. And that's the same thing the Maytech stuff's doing, right, Skadoosh? Yes, sir. So that's that new new. Then you, that's that new new. And then you end up with this. There's nothing in there. It's Look at that so gap. clean. Mind the gap. Matt said he was, gap. Gonna, he was gonna hit that gap with a fucking tiny whoop. Hell yeah. Test I want you to stick that rib nipple you got up in there. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. That rib nipple I will the, look I will take the calipers. Take do you have a set of calipers, Skadoosh? I do at my office. <laughs> oh well I'm gonna tell you right now this ribbed nipple is 4.3 millimeters. So you get back to me and tell me if that gap is 4.3 or not. Because if not, then Stand you know, by. this rib nipple. Random, it only random really wanted to use his calibers right there. That's what That's that right. was. It only fucks <laughs> <with> <laughs> they wanted to pull those bad boys out and mess with some shit. It only fucks with tight gaps. <laughs> so no, but this I'm is a good idea. I swear to God, I'm saying that. Millimeters. 
Oh, dude, that's funny. Oh, yeah. Hey, that'd be like <laughs> throwing a hot dog mm-hmm. down a hallway. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Like dropping a hot dog in a pitcher. I could definitely shoot my wound through that. That's for sure. <laughs> Apollo FPV says he can hit that gap. <laughs> that's my buddy. <laughs> that's my buddy, Kevin. We got 10 watchers. That's 10 motherfucking. That's spit gap. We're up to 10. The <laughs> but we are 10 out of 10 on the thumbs up. So obviously, whatever old. What is, what's his name from FPV Life is not watching because he he would definitely be down thumbing right now. What's who are we talking about? Oh, I'm I'm not gonna go there. You'll hear about it. Oh, oh no no I, I know okay, okay. you'll hear about okay, it. Okay. Yeah yeah. I'm, okay. just, I'm just I'm just just a low. It was a low blow on my part. I'm sorry. That was no, it's not. Hey man, it's your show. Run the shit. Well, this isn't a show. We're just a couple of guys having a good time. Just trying to fuck, make it honest. Oh wait, no, never mind. Right. Just talking, talking about FPV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Skadoosh, you uh, have you actually flown the Matex stuff yet? The the one with the ribbon or no? I'm getting ready to right now. I was walking out the door when you said let's do a live stream. All right. Well, on that note, I'm good. I've got all my stuff unboxed and ready. Um, I can, I'm going to start building the. I did now. do a uh, hey hey hey. My dog's chewing on my new prop. Get out yeah. of here. <laughs> well, Matt, you got anything you want to say or do before we call this a day? Uh, not that I know of. Uh, we talk about anything new. I mean, I, I want to say. No, we'll I got. I mean, it. I got the Epson thing going on with the augmented reality glasses. That's gonna be coming into uh, to drones really soon, which is fucking sweet. So, what is that? Explain that a little bit. So, Epson. Contacted me in uh, my school because you know the flight instructors at my school, and um, they said, "Hey, we got these these glasses. We want to you know test them out with some drones, and we want you guys to do it." So they're sitting in a bunch of their uh, their glasses, kind of like the Google glasses, but the, the you know augment like clear glasses. You just see an OSD in your glasses, and you see everything on your on your drone telemetry wise. It's not like FPV goggles, but pretty sweet so we're gonna start implementing that and get some free stuff and you know it's gonna be awesome they're awesome free stuff is good free stuff is good they're like a grand a piece so I never imagined a while back when I started getting into this hobby and it sucked me in and including my wallet that I would be like doing unboxings on YouTube for free stuff so I'm I'm thankful hey man you got a wall now with a cobra back there is that cobra what is that cobra. an alien What's no. that wooden sculpture? To, to oh, your those, other... are, those are mushrooms. They're hand oh. chainsaw carved mushrooms from a dude down the street. It's a badass. Damn. You boys in Tennessee really know how to do it. Yeah, he just gets really drunk and <laughs> goes crazy with a chainsaw. <laughs> but he's he's a, he's relentless. Dude, the dude is out in like rain, snow. I saw him one time out in the snow with ice on his beard carving chainsaw things like it was that's hardcore man the dude's as hardcore about chainsaws as we are about fpv so them them's rocky top people man that's right that's right listen to her <laughs> now i respect anybody who's willing to get out in that their ass and snow and they want to do what they do and they do it well you know what i mean her <laughs> tell, you what. tell you what but so we got uh we got fpv live tomorrow with preston from race flight and also oh, yeah. wild willie and ladrib which is going to be a super crazy show. Yeah. One way, one way or the other, it will, right? it will end up being interesting. I will tell you that. I actually uh, cannot wait. I really, I, I I've been looking forward to it, man. Ladrib, man. I love, I love Dribby. I like Will. When, uh, when Wild Willie was on, it was one of the most natural guests we've ever had. Like it was just like dudes hanging out like this. Yeah. So I thought that, that was really cool. That was really cool when he came. Dribs on. always like that, um, and he brings a whole other perspective to things. So. I love I love watching Madrid because he's always got like ten thousand things going on while he's on live, still talking in the conversation. Like, dude, he's a multitasker for sure. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, I I just like it because he'll come right. back on the show after I pulled yeah. that stint with the eyeliner. He's like editing ten videos at a time, talking to you guys. Like, <laughs> his live streams are like that too, man. He's got he's got yeah, he's no, got a good grasp on time management. So yeah, no, he's well. The dude guy. the dude can edit. Man, I mean, he puts a lot in. You can tell he puts a lot into his work, his videos. I mean, yeah. I, I have a hard enough time doing a four-minute freaking flight video. And this guy's banging out vlogs every couple of days that are like 
I absolutely hate video editing, but if you're, you know, making it your life, you know, that's awesome. I mean, I could barely find my way f f around Adobe Premiere, let alone, you know, produce 10 videos a week, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, his, his stuff is, is like, it's at a level where it's pretty close to like little mini movies in some yeah. respects. No, I love it, man. I love it. Um, there's only yeah. one or two other people out on. there. Go ahead. Exactly. I go out with the intention of making a video some days and I capture all this cool footage and I bring it home and I pull it all off onto the computer. And then, all right, I'll get to that later. And then the next day it's like, you know, okay, let's stick that in the fan. I never, I got like thousands of hours of shit that I just never edited because it just, dude, never pandas edited. get sleepy. Man. <laughs> uh, time to go fly again. Pandas get sleepy. That's like one of the things they're known for. I mean, I understand. I mean, all that eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna call it a night guys uh skadoosh needs to go fly matt i'm sure you've got stuff to do i want to build this so yes. big thanks to drojan and um, big thanks to skadoosh and to matt and uh check out fpv live tomorrow night with the race flight crew and wild willie and drib it's at 9 30 <laughs> eastern time uh tomorrow night i guarantee you it's going to be interesting. I will. I will bet this freaking drone. It's interesting. I'll and second it, that. So, yeah, I can't. I mean, I can't always vouch for FPV life being interesting. <laughs> but, I love it. Uh, yeah. All right, man. Hey, thanks for having me on, guys. It's fucking yeah. awesome. Let me give a. Let me give some shout outs to the chat real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, dynamic array always number for one in the chat and always the last to leave. He's working while we're sleeping. Uh, <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> Detroit FPV, I'm not sure who that is, but I think like every once in a while he comes on the stream and stuff. Um, <laughs> the Bean, what's up, buddy? Little J, you know, <laughs> Little J makes cool graphical stuff and stuffs for the stuffs. Uh, ATA, another behind the scenes FPV lifer. Um, Rickster, he's my homeboy. He's like a real friend, which I have very few of in life. Uh, let's see. Skadoosh, I don't know that guy either. He's just always fucking around, giving people a hard time and starting shit on the fucking Rotor Riot group. Um, let's see. Leave, <laughs> Leave Lake, what is up, buddy? He just joined, so you'll have to watch. Uh, I think I already shouted out the Bean, but you can catch too, Bean. And who else we got? Anybody? Apollo FPV. Apollo FPV. Holla. Holla. Oh. Let's see. I think that's hey, it. Hey, away. Real quick, real quick. You remember that Ladrib video where he said the dude went on the went on the roof and got his drones? Yes. That was that was Apollo. What? Yeah. Oh, that was, big res, res, that dude went out there in the middle of the damn night by himself. Yeah. Like when 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 Drew talked about that, you could tell he was like scared for the dude. He was a homo. Yeah. Which you know. I, I, I know how it is. If I'm if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. So I respect that. No, that's my buddy Kevin. Yeah, he's he's, so. he's a really good dude. He, he's a great flyer too, man. Cool. Well, that's shout awesome. out, Kevin. You rock, dude. Anybody that'll go get a drone for somebody and not steal it, good guy. Especially in Detroit, right? Because it's sketchy over there, right? <laughs> it's sketchy, man. No, I'm just kidding. It's sketchy everywhere. Right. Anymore. It's fucking. David's probably safer than us because everybody's scared of his crazy ass. You kidding me? Knoxville's fucking crazy. It can get the size that way. of like four of them. <laughs> That's my point, Dave. I wasn't gonna say it, but whatever. Anyway, thanks to everybody. Record Bye, some guys. shit. All right, I gotta go fly. See you, man. Good talks, guys. All right, love you guys. See you tomorrow night. Peace. Peace.